a very good day to all of you cbsc is organizing safal ksa 2025 26 from 10th of november onwards now there will be assessment of science for grade 8 that is for students who are currently in grade 9 this assessment will take place on 17th and 18th of november in this video we will see important topics questions and the competencies for the assessment of science for grade 8 safal key stage assessment the topical areas covered under grade 8 science framework are life science earth science and physical science the main topics in life science will be food and world of living in earth science the main topics will be natural phenomena and natural resources in physical science the main topics will be materials how things work and moving things people and ideas here you can see safal assessment framework for grade 8 science first of all domain is given with the main topic and the competencies under that topic there will be four levels below basic basic proficient advanced the first topic is food competency is explain the economic importance of microbes classify crops and elaborate the different processes used for agricultural practices and the yield of crop for proficient level questions will be there on classification of crops sequence the task involved in cultivating the crop to list major steps of agricultural practices importance of harvesting and storage of harvested crop and classification of microorganism or economic importance of microorganism for advanced level there will be questions based on the difference between fertilizer and manure recognize growth needs of different crops analyze the data on the crop yields under various farming conditions next competency is to explain the importance of nutrients in plants and animals and the nutritional deficiency diseases test the nutrients present in the food and various methods of preservation of food for below basic level questions will be there to relate the importance of different nutrients in order to make a healthy food choice to test the presence of various nutrients in food items and to state the various nutritional deficiency diseases and their symptoms for basic level questions will be there to perform the starch test on raw and chewed food in order to infer the role of saliva to relate the nutritional requirements of different organisms to state the various nutritional deficiency diseases and its symptoms for proficient level students have to explain the use of methods of food preservation next competency is to compare the traditional and modern implement and processes used for various agricultural practices and elaborate the various cycles working in nature to maintain an ecological balance for proficient level students have to compare the traditional and modern implement and processes used for various agricultural practices for advanced level students have to label or complete the diagrams of carbon and nitrogen cycles next topic is world of living competency is classifies the plant based on their internal systems and differentiates plant and animal cell for basic level students have to identify examples of plant and animal organ systems for proficient level students have to distinguish between plants and animal cells to explain the function of cell wall next competency in the same topic is recognizes the parts of a flower differentiate between human male and female reproductive system and bisexual and unisexual flowers 
for below basic level students have to identify the parts of a flower in a given diagram with focus on male and female reproductive parts of a flower for basic level students have to distinguish aspects of plant reproductive morphology questions will be there to distinguish between bisexual and unisexual flowers for proficient level questions will be there to illustrate the differences between human male and female reproductive system for advanced level students have to elaborate the role of sex hormones and their effect on individuals to contrast internal and external fertilization next competency is to explain structural behavioral and physiological adaptations of plants distinguish between sexual and asexual reproduction for below basic level students have to explain structural behavioral and physiological adaptations of plants to different environmental conditions they have to compare the features of herbs shrubs and trees in order to classify them for basic level questions will be there on the categories of organisms based on their method of feeding students have to distinguish between different human teeth they have to describe the effect of different factors that affect the weather of an area for proficient level students have to define puberty and describe the need for a balanced diet in order to explain the nutritional needs of adolescents they have to establish the importance of reproductive health students have to distinguish between sexual and asexual reproduction for advanced level questions will be there to distinguish between simplified plant and animal fungal and bacterial cell they have to establish the difference between the animal and plant cells with appropriate experiments the last competency under the domain life science topic world of living is explains how some animals are able to survive in extreme weather conditions for below basic level students have to infer the reasons for morphological features of inhabitants meant for survival in their habitats for basic level they have to elaborate how some animals are able to survive in extreme weather conditions next domain we have is earth science the first topic is natural phenomena the first competency in this domain and topic is to explain the water cycle and the consequences of its disturbance and the causes of cyclones for below basic level students have to explain the water cycle and the consequences of its disturbance leading to natural calamities for basic level they have to explain the causes of cyclones for advanced level students have to explain the phenomenon of lightning the next competency in this is distinguish between concave and convex lens concave and convex mirrors for below basic level questions will be there to understand the process of shadow formation for basic level questions will be there to understand the nature and position of image formed by a concave or convex mirror they have to differentiate between the concave and convex lens they have to distinguish between real and virtual image for proficient level students have to distinguish between diffused and regular reflection for advanced level students have to explain how lenses can be used to correct short and long sightedness next competency is to explain the structure and the function of the eyes to develop the awareness and empathy about eye donation and visual impairment for proficient level students have to explain the structure and function of the eyes they have to illustrate the laws of reflection 
in real life by calculating the angles of incidence and reflection for advanced level questions will be based on the awareness regarding eye donation optical and non optical aids for visually impaired and to explain the formation of multiple images the next competency is to explain the need of waste disposal and the various processes related to the treatment of water to explain the origin of various air pollutants and their effect on the quality of life to explain the ways to conserve forest for below basic level questions will be there to list the different type of waste and their disposal for basic level questions will be there to understand the sewage disposal system and to understand how to make water potable students have to evaluate the various processes related to the treatment of waste water for proficient level questions will be there to understand the greenhouse effect as a cause of global warming students have to explain the origin of various air pollutants and their effect on quality of life they have to relate the recycling as a way to reduce deforestation for advanced level students have to cite the steps taken to prevent water pollution in river they have to identify national and international initiatives to conserve water and the awareness regarding pollution check and permissible levels of vehicles emissions they have to assess how reducing reusing and recycling industrial waste helps in reducing water pollution the next domain is physical science the first topic in this domain is materials the competency is to classify natural and synthetic fibers based on their properties for below basic levels students have to classify the given fabrics as natural or synthetic they have to identify the fabrics which have plant sources and non plant sources for basic level students have to outline the steps involved in the processing of animal fibers such as wool and silk for proficient level they have to distinguish between synthetic and natural fibers based on their properties for advanced level they have to apply learning of scientific concepts in day to day life biodegradable and non biodegradable waste in context with usage of plastic the next competency is to define acids bases and salts classifies different substances based on their physical properties as metals non metals and metalloids for below basic level students have to classify the materials on the basis of hardness and they have to identify reversible and non reversible changes for basic level they have to define acids bases and salts to identify acidic and basic substances and to differentiate physical changes from other changes for proficient level they have to predict the utility of a given material for a specific task questions will be there to write the word equations for chemical reactions for advanced level students have to classify different substances based on their physical properties as metals non metals and metalloids next topic is how things work the competency is distinguish between conductors and insulators of electricity examine the magnetic and chemical effect of electric current for below basic level questions will be there to distinguish between conductors and insulators of electricity students have to infer why metals like copper and aluminium are used for making wires for domestic and industrial purposes they have to analyze the flow of current in a simple electric circuit and to explain how to construct 
a simple torch. For basic level, students have to examine and demonstrate magnetic effects of electric current. They have to list the precautions to be observed while working with electricity. For proficient level, students have to elaborate the chemical effects of electric current. For example, electroplating. They have to describe the process of electroplating and to distinguish between good and poor conductors of electricity. Next competency is to recognize the materials that can become magnets and explain the process of making an electromagnet. For below basic level, students have to recognize that some materials can become magnetic such as iron, nickel or cobalt. They have to demonstrate how artificial magnets can be made by rubbing. For basic level, they have to explain the process for making an electromagnet. And for advanced level, they have to hypothesize an activity to determine the poles of a magnet. Next topic is moving things, people and ideas. Competency is to define pressure, motion, force and its types. Explain the effects of force on state of motion or shape of an object. For below basic level, students have to measure the distance and use its units. They have to define the motion and its type rectilinear, periodic, circular and oscillatory. For basic level, they have to define uniform and non-uniform motion, define speed, measure the time and express it in its SI units, interpret tabular data or graphs related to the motion. For proficient level, they have to explain the effects of force on the state of motion or shape of an object. Define force, pressure, friction, atmospheric pressure. Distinguish between types of forces, contact or non-contact. Understand that force has both magnitude and direction. Questions will be based to recognize that liquids and gases exert pressure. Know that friction depends on the nature of substance in contact. Students have to identify the ways to increase or decrease the friction. For advanced level, questions will be there to interpret or identify free body diagrams to represent balanced and unbalanced forces. The last competency in this domain is to define the amplitude, frequency, pitch and relates types of sounds with frequency, amplitude, explains environmental consequences of sound pollution. For proficient level, students have to identify how the sound is produced, define amplitude, frequency or pitch and relate types of sounds with frequency or amplitude. For advanced level, students have to explain environmental consequences of sound pollution and suggest the ways to minimize it. Here you can see a sample item. The given domain is earth science. Topic is natural resources. Competency is explains the need of waste disposal and the various processes related to treatment of waste water. Proficiency level is below basic. Here you can see a question and the four options are given. Dear students, we have discussed all the important topics, questions and the competencies for the assessment of science in SUFL key stage assessment. Hope you will get SUFLTA in your SUFL exam. That's all from this video. Thank you very much.